Hey, what's up? This is Ambi Pure here. One thing that comes up quite a lot in techwear is, of course, the high cost generally associated with buying into this stuff. The first thing that people experience with techwear often is brands like Acronym with those thousand dollar plus jackets, Nike ACG with a six hundred dollar Alpine jacket, and the list pretty much goes on. And if you're looking at those kinds of brands to start building a techwear wardrobe, and once you've thrown in cargoes, bags, belts, all those kinds of things, you're gonna end up with a pretty hefty bill. But it doesn't have to be like that. I've been scouring the internet for a couple of cool jacket options so you can get that techwear aesthetic without spending acronym money. So I found quite a few different options which fit quite a few different looks within techwear, and all of these jackets are between $100 and $200. Okay, maybe that's not the cheapest thing in the world, you could certainly buy jackets for less money than that, but I do think that that puts it within the affordable category, especially when you compare to some of those big name techwear jackets out there. Now I've got to be honest, I don't have that much experience with a lot of the brands that I'm going to show in this video, so I can't necessarily vouch for what the fit is like, or the quality, or the performance, or what the company is like. Like to deal with even, but by the content that I can see of this stuff, I do think it's worth consideration. Also at cheaper prices, some sacrifices do have to be made, so don't necessarily expect to see all the same materials used or the same kind of performance features that you might find in those higher tier brands. But a lot of the jackets here do manage to squeeze in some cool little features. So without further ado, let's take a look at exactly what those are. First jacket here is the Condor Aegis. Now Condor are a military brand, so a lot of the things they do are like gun pouches and tactical vests and all that kind of stuff. But they do have one or two quite cool options, which come in black, which make for some nice tech approved gear, the Condor Aegis being one of them. This jacket is super minimal, you're not gonna find any branding or anything like that on here. The only thing you've got is these two extra zips quite high up on the chest here, which make for a little bit of handy extra storage. All the zips have taped seams, which is good from a water resistance perspective. The collar is a little bit higher than an average jacket as well, and the hood is described as being spacious, I think it says on their website, which is potentially good for those kind of like big Sith Lord ninja vibes. Anyway, apart from that, this jacket is pretty low key, so I think could make quite a good starting point to build a kind of tech wear outfit around and sort of pile other things on top of almost. Next up is Code Red. This is a brand that's been suggested to me quite often, and it's a little bit of a weird brand in that they seem to produce quite a big variety of stuff. They've got quite a few athleisure things, which they produce under Code Red Sport, and they've got some more streetwear type things as well. But in their jacket section, they've got quite a few potentially cool options. One of those that stood out to me was the Ank Shell. This has a very asymmetrical zip. It's got two big kind of off-center pockets as well on the front, which are kind of vaguely reminiscent of like a watered down J28, something like that. Although the overall look is very different, there's certainly some inspiration that's been taken there from jackets like the J28. It's got a built-in face mask and built-in hand warmers as well, so it's got a bit of a tech wear look in one vibe going on. Although this is a soft shell as well, apparently it boasts 10k millimeters water resistance, which is actually surprisingly high for this kind of jacket. This comes in at $153, so it's quite a unique looking jacket for that kind of price. And there's a few different color options available as well, so if you want to be even more unique, mix it up from the traditional black, then you can still do that. Nike ACG, for a lot of people, is one of the first brands, or product lines rather, that come to mind when they think about techwear. But did you know that Nike Lab have their own sort of techwear inspired gear, which bears some resemblance to Nike ACG, but without all that ACG branding and without the ACG price. Check out the Nike Lab Tech Fleece hooded shield jacket. It's got an off center chest pocket zip. It's got little asymmetrical sleeves. And perhaps most importantly, it has a jacket kind of backpack style sling in exactly the same way as the Alpine jacket from Nike Lab ACG. For me, that's one of my most used features on that jacket. I find it's super handy. So if you want to get that functionality um, and something that's kind of similar to Nike ACG but without paying that price, then something like this is a really nice option. And again, if you want to mix up the colors, check out this green gray version, which they call Dark Stucco, which is the same color, in fact, as one of this season's Alpine jackets. Although I've mentioned quite a few new brands here, let's not forget about some of the things that I've mentioned in previous videos. Both Riot Division and Krakatau currently have sales on some of their older jackets. So if you've enjoyed or liked the look of some of that 
that stuff previously, then perhaps these guys are worth revisiting. Riot Division's M65 Transformer jacket, for example, is half price, down to $125. And it's got a few different pockets on the front which you can mix up and get a few different looks with. Although I don't have this particular jacket, the other Riot Division stuff I've got has generally been pretty good. So $125, you can't go too far wrong. Cracker towel sale options, I think, would require a little bit more work to get that tech wear look across, but I thought I would include them here for the sake of a bit of variety. This one here, for example, is down to under £100, £92, which would put it at just over $100, making it one of the cheapest things on this list. It's the most heavy duty looking piece of all of these jackets, probably the warmest as well, and it boasts a couple of different pockets, as well as a super extended collar. The final brand is one which someone suggested to me quite a while ago in a video, but I now can't find that comment again. But thank you very much to you. That brand is L House, which is an Indonesian brand, which produce some kind of military or more urban inspired things, which kind of have a little bit of a Maharishi vibe to me. This particular jacket, the Shepherd, has loads of little graphical details going on and a big print on the back as well. So perhaps more suitable for a more edgy kind of look or something that's a little bit more street tech as opposed to pure tech wear. But again, this is a bit of a different style to the other jackets in this video. And at $134, I think that you're getting something that's quite unique and quite cool for that price. I like the little olive accents on here. Quite a lot of tech wear gear is either black or olive. So I think this gives it the potential to go quite nicely with quite a broad range of various tech wear things. And because there is so much going on on this jacket with those little accents and all the little graphical details, I think that this will require the least dressing up, shall we say, of all of the things in this video. I think you could pair this with some pretty plain clothes and you'll still end up with an outfit that's quite interesting just because of this jacket alone. It's got nice angled pockets and this also has a jacket sling in it as well. The look of this might be a little bit divisive or some people might not really like it, but I think if you want something that's a little bit flashier, then this could be something worth giving a go. So there were some different options. There were supposed to be five in there. I think you actually got six, so you get a little bonus. In my opinion, any of these, certainly based on the pictures, could make a decent first techwear jacket. Something to pick up if you just want to dip your toes into the style a little bit, but don't want to commit those a thousand plus dollars for those high-end brands. Let me know which of the six is your favorite. If you had to pick one of them, which one would you go for? And of course, if you've got any other suggestions or things that I might have missed, then stick those down in the comments as well. If you enjoyed the video, of course, uh, do please give it a like. And thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, I will catch you in the next video. Shout out to Bryson, I'm glad you enjoyed the last video being a little bit different. I do want to keep a little bit of variety going on, so I'm glad you liked it. And shout out to MCMF, I got these toothbrushes for days, check those bad boys out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more, tech wear or otherwise, then you can hit those videos up there and check those out. And if you made it to the end but you're not subscribed, then you should think about doing so and then you can check out all the cool future videos that come out. In which case, just hit that little button there and you can join the tech nation. Tech army, tech squad, one of those.